There are a few differences between the types of depreciation methods. I'm Adam Selby and welcome to The Accounting Student, where we create free and short videos so that you can learn about accounting. Today's video is a quick comparison between straight line and reducing balance depreciation. There are two main methods for depreciating an asset and these are the straight line method and reducing balance method. If you don't know what depreciation is or what these methods are, you can look at the previous videos which give a more in-depth description on these topics. The straight line is the easier and quicker of the two methods, however it may not accurately represent how much the asset should have been depreciated by. Straight line has a fixed figure for its depreciation and is the same each year. An example of an asset that may be depreciated by this method would be a building. Reducing balance is slightly harder to calculate, but its calculations help make the depreciation for each year more accurate. The amount in each year will be different and does not have a fixed figure. A good example of an asset that would be depreciated with this method would be a car as they lose a lot of their value in the first few years. Let's have a look at an example using the same scenario. Max has bought a boat for £100,000 and its depreciation rate is 20% per year. What would the total depreciation be after two years using both methods? For the straight line method, for the first year you would take £100,000 and times this by 20% which is £20,000. For year two you would then take the same £100,000 and times this by 20% again, which gives you £20,000. The total then is 20000 and 20000 equals 40000 For the reducing balance method, you would take £100,000 and times this by 20%, which equals £20,000. However, for the second year, you would have to take your £100,000 minus the £20,000 depreciation in the first year which gives you £80,000. You then take this £80,000 times it by 20% which gives you 16000 You take the 20000 plus the 16000 which equals 36000 total depreciation. As you can tell, the choice of depreciation can have an effect on the total depreciation so it's important to use the method that most suits the asset. Also, once you have chosen a method for depreciation of an asset, you have to continue to use that method until disposal. So that was the explanation of the difference between straight line and reducing balance method of depreciation. If you enjoyed it, press the like button. If you have a question you want answered, leave it in the comments below and we'll try to answer it. And if you've not already subscribed, make sure you click on the big red subscribe button above to keep up to date with the accounting student. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.